Welcome back, Guardians. My name is Samlab. It has truly been an exciting and also challenging year and there is much on the horizon on the channel and in Destiny. This is likely to be the last video I do this side of 2021, so let's make it a good one. Some of you may have seen the new teaser trailer from Bungie's upcoming expansion, set to debut on the 22nd of February. But during the trailer, some new information has been revealed I would like to break down for you. A new scene has been revealed that looks strangely familiar. We have all seen it before. Yes, it is a cradle. But you might be asking, what is the cradle? A cradle in Destiny is the last place that the Traveler's Light touched during terraforming. When it was accessible, an example of this could have been found in Echo Mesa on Io, a location which after being visited by the Black Fleet became the location of the Tree of Silver Wings. What is the significance of the Cradle? The most troubling part about the Cradle is the unknown power of light it still retains. And Savathun, the Queen of Lies, has discovered this location in the most unlikely of places possible, and yet somehow it makes sense. Back in Season of the Arrivals, a Guardian approached the Tree of Silver Wings on Iron. Savathun stepped in to stop us from getting to it. She deliberately attempted to stop us from getting any closer to discovering what the darkness is and in essence gain access to greater power. However, her plan did not succeed. So I went into the Ishtar Collectives to do a little research. What was Savathun doing there in the first place? During the Red War campaign, we were presented with multiple planets to explore, with Io being one of them. Before it was vaulted in 2020, there was a mission previously accessible titled Unexpected Guests. The main point of this mission is to stop the Hive from opening a door into Savathun's court, the Coven. And I feel like the name of her court speaks for itself, if you haven't guessed it already. Yes, Savathun had been trying to access Io in order to gain control of the Cradle and the last place the Traveler's Light touched. Though it is uncertain how she would attempt to achieve her plans. Where is Savathun heading? Already, we have had a glimpse of the future. If you have checked out the Bungie website, you will know that the upcoming expansion reveals that Savathun has gained access to the light. But how? If you have watched the recent teaser trailer, you may already know the answer that Savathun's throne world isn't what it seems to be. But within the teaser, there are two images in particular that caught my attention. Number one, the first sequence in question shows us a high shot looking down at the ground. It reveals a type of crop circle pattern, one identical to the pattern under the tree of silver wings on Io. Number two, the second image shows us the Cradle, a Cradle. When I saw this I was extremely excited, because in Destiny lore, there are only a few planets the Traveler's Light touches. The location in question is Planet Mars. You may be wondering, why Mars? To which I would say, this is an excellent question. So here are the planets the Traveler terraformed when it entered our Sol system. Europa, Io, Mercury, 
Venus, Mars, Earth. If this is the case, examples in destiny lore would indicate that each planet the traveler's light touched holds a cradle where residual energy of the light still pulses through the veins of each planet. So why does Savathu need the cradle? The answer is simple. She desires the power of the light. Wherever the traveler has been, you will find light. And if you know how the light works, it can be harnessed. We have witnessed many a foe attempt to take our light, and some succeeded where others failed. But if Savathun truly does gain access to the light, where then will you turn, Guardian? This is a question one may need to dig deep in order to discover the answer. But alas, the end is not here, and there is always enough hope if you look for it. Do not be afraid of the dark, for they are merely shadows. Sometimes, shadows have a way of mimicking or scaring us into believing lies. But when brought into the radiant light, then the truth is revealed. So hold on to the truth, guardians, and believe in hope as you continue to walk forwards. For now, that's all I have for you. If you have enjoyed watching and listening to today's video, be sure to comment below and give it a like. And consider subscribing and clicking the bell notification to find out when my next video goes live. Remember that no matter what you're facing at this moment in time, you can do all things. Stay safe and Godspeed.